For the first night, one of the biggest aspects of nikah is to basically consummate the marriage, right? Because that's a desire that husband and wife have, and this is the halal way of fulfilling that. So there's a, some people may feel that there's an urgency to do this. However, it is not a sunnah necessarily that on the first night that this must take place. And that, that's why you have to be sensitive. Because it's possible that, you know, these last few days or weeks have been very, very busy for the couple, right? Of course, once they are married, there's going to be a lot of enthusiasm. But a lot of the time, people are tired or whatever the case is. So all we're saying is proceed carefully, relax, get to know one another. Especially if you've done it in a halal way, where you've not basically had a taste of one another beforehand. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of cases where people get to know one another too much and they've been dating and they've done basically everything that what you're supposed to be look forward, looking forward to for your day of marriage, all that barakah is gone. So really, if it's a, a couple who've been trying to be righteous and so on, there's going to be an urgency, there's going to be a barakah and so on. Uh, you want to try to break the ice, right? You want to try to break the ice, get comfortable with one another. And generally, if you've done your due diligence, if you found somebody who you think is compatible, you've made the inquiries, you've tried to understand the personality through other people and so on, and you've made a bit of investment like that, that then basically, once the nikah has been done, husband and wife become halal for one another. One of the things that you should avoid is you should not be playing hard to get. Otherwise, it could leave a lasting negative impression on the other. So if the husband just plays hard to get or the wife plays hard to get, it's just not, you're, you're halal for one another, you should basically be both giving it your full. Generally, the advice is women should not play hard to get and men should take it easy because generally those are the problems. Obviously, when somebody is still a relative stranger, you may be a bit uncomfortable how far we can go. And of course, there's the natural inhibition, the natural haya that somebody has. You don't expect on the first day just to reveal it all, as they say, right? There could be a natural inhibition or a rev reservation at this stage. So you need to take it uh, feeling insecure and so on. So start praising one another. Praise them. Ease, make it easy for them. Make it comfortable for them. These are specific sunnah recommendations for this night. There's a hadith related by Imam Tabarani which says that the couple should offer two rakats of prayer together in congregation. So when you come together, whether you're going to a hotel room or your own apartment or your friend's apartment or whatever, however you want to do this the first night, you first get together, do wudu and you pray salah. Number two, then the husband is also advised to hold the wife's forelock, which is the, the hair at the front, and recite the following prayer. The wife can also make this dua. But because the Prophet is speaking to men, he said it to her, he said, Allahumma inni asaluka khayraha, and she would say khayrahu instead, right? Wa khayra ma jabaltaha alayhi, wa a'udhu bika min sharriha, wa sharri ma jabaltaha alayhi. And if she's reading it, she'll just change the ha to who instead. Basically, it just means, oh Allah, I ask you for the good in her or him and the good you have predisposed her to or him. And I seek your protection from her evil or his evil and the evil you have predisposed her or him to. This should, inshallah, keep the shaitan away and protect you from any ill that may come about. Number three, it could be a recommendation at this point to give a special gift. This is when I think the marital gift should be given. Not mahar, but a special gift private personal gift some and preferably give something that they will remember forever right a box of chocolates will be eaten up because the prophet said give gifts to one another and that will create love and this is the person you want to create love with so use everything that the prophet is encouraged to create love with now if, if you're already married and you didn't do this you can still have a special night and say let's do this again let me give you a gift number four this is from the sunnah the husband could also offer his new bride something to drink a nice juice or something or anything even water okay number f number five this is where nobody else should be there afterwards obviously because if they decide to get intimate and make love the couple then should first recite the dua special dua which is bismillah allahumma jannibna shaitan wa jannibi shaitan ma razaqtana you should memorize this dua it is very important because remember this is all about the big idea of marriage which is to produce children and the next generation and you want to make sure you, pr you, you, you do everything right to produce the best children. Shaitan is there to cause problems right from the beginning. So what this dua means is in the name of Allah. Oh Allah, distance us from, this, uh, from the Satan 
and distant Satan from what you gra have granted us. So we don't want our child to be affected by the shaitan as well. Uh, now, another point to keep in mind here is that it's forbidden, forbidden anytime, not just this night, anytime to reveal the details of your sexual intimacy with your spouse to anybody. There's a, tra there's a weird custom among some people that they pressure a person getting married like a woman or a man to reveal the de details of their first encounter and they compare it with one another. Totally haram and wrong. This is a betrayal of your partner's trust. Uh, the, the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith Sahih Muslim, amongst the most evil people according to Allah on the day of judgment is a man who has sexual relations with his wife and she with him, then he spreads her secrets. Likewise, if a woman does the same for her husband. As a final advice, I just want to mention that do not, do not play jokes on one another on the first night. You don't know the other person properly enough and it could go wrong.